Uh, hello, YouTube. Uh, the Hearthstone servers appear to be down right now, at least in the EU. Uh, so I've moved to Variety a little bit earlier than I had planned. And my Variety? Honestly, I wanted to play some more Super Auto Pets. I had a lot of fun with the last weekly. Uh, I did get a win off camera with that weekly in a, a god build where I got like nine bluebirds in my first like three or four shops. It was insane. I wish I was on camera. Uh, sadly, I wasn't. I was in bed on my laptop. Anyway, the new weekly is up and there's a lot of old favourites in here that even I recognise. The, the good old ants, there's pills in here. Uh, the, the good old beetle. The dragon. A cat, a cow. God, I love the cow. Cow plus cat. Excellent. Uh, and we're going to see what we can do. I've not played it yet. It is the first day of the weekly. It's always the best time to play it. Before the, the sweaty nerds figure out the optimal strats. Okay. Horse, chinchilla, otter. Horse me. Otter me. Synergy. I'm not sure about the chinchilla. But I guess it's just money, right? I think I'm going to roll. Oh my god. Freeze it all. Uh, let's take a bluebird, I think, first. We might lose this, but this is a a juicy... A juicy step family start, no. Uh, a juicy whisker, sure. It's a juicy start is really what I wanted to say. Okay, the 3-1 going into the 1-2 is no bueno. But because of the horse, it actually worked out okay. Alright, we lost. I expected it. Oh my word! Otter me? Bluebeard me? And... Otter me again. Okay, the buffs didn't quite work out in the perfect sequence. But it was pretty good. Uh, horse, I think we're going to keep for now. Okay, that was a little bit unlucky as well. I feel like I've got a really good build to not pivot instantly on. And would you look at that? One and one, we get the one health back as well. Fantastic start. Now we do some combining. An ox. Friend head faints. Gain the melon perk. Yes. Otter me again. Oh, good choice. Freeze me, roll me. A swan. I have a lot of respect for the swan. I think you're staying here for a decent amount of time, so I'll keep you here. And we're looking for some more bluebirds. Such a nice melon. And when you look at that, we just dominated them. I'll take the horse. It's more humoring the horse right now. I think I'm going to tear it up and then just sell it instantly. Another bluebird. I will take the tier next round, if you don't mind. Okay, I'm not freezing the other horse. Uh, it's probably going pretty soon afterwards, if not immediately. Okay, you have got a melon, and you've done the thing where you build it. Very smart. Not quite smart enough, though! All right, horse me. Praying Mantis? Oh! I, I will take the Praying Mantis, thank you. I mean, that's never going to be my lowest tier pet. Right. Uh, horse, it actually turns out what's going to happen to you is you're going to be sacrificed to the great god of the Praying Mantis. I don't think I want any of these. I want faint pets. 
I don't even want pills right now. So we could have got some extra money for the, the horse. We could have got two gold for it. Instead, I'm going to use it to feed my mantis. Goodbye, mantis. Which in turn is going to feed the ox. Okay, we lost that one, but it's fine. They use toy cheese. Honey to all pets it within one space. Sure. I'll sacrifice a honey for my praying mantis. Ants are definitely what we want to actually sacrifice, though. Uh, I think we cucumber the mantis. Because he is going to be the, the legs of the run. I think I'll roll three times. We probably don't want another bear. I will take another ox, though. And I want none of this. I've just realized I should not have put the cucumber on with the bear. <laughs> it's a pretty big error, in fact, because I'm going to break the cucumber with the honey now. Whoops. Minus three gold. You know what? I didn't need the three gold anyway. All right. Ant me. Ox me. Roll me. No. <laughs> uh, just no. I think Otter is now living here for a little bit longer, so I'm going to put some garlic on the Otter. Oh my god, the snipes are so brutal! The Wesleys! Nice! Flamingo is also a really good pet to get eaten. Perks are two times stronger on this. I don't think this is going to be the run for that, sadly. Just take the honey off this guy. I shouldn't have put a bear there to begin with. I need a scaler right now. Well, that's bad. <laughs> We're gonna just sneak through, I think. Alright, you eat it. More gold next turn. I'll freeze you because you're not the worst thing. Okay. Ox me. I can buy sell, but it doesn't really do anything. Sell me? I just said that there's not a lot of good foods in here. It's really just the sushi. Sushis and apples. I'll take a monkey. I think Flamingo is what I want now in slot two. Garel's not the worst thing to put in there either, to be completely honest with you. I think we've scaled too slowly. I just didn't get a scaler instantly. Okay, I need the monkey to level up.
Don't kill me. <laughs> you coward, don't kill me. We'll eat you next turn. Getting melon on this guy would be pretty nice as well, but... Am I going to live that long? I don't know. Is it 23-23? That is a 20-27, though, it's fighting against. Ah! Okay, Garel actually got a kill. Oh my god, I think we're going to do it. We're alive. You just need to go crazy. Yes, pills. Pills here. And by pills, I mean uh, peanuts. I don't think we're going to get to tier 3 in time. I really need a monkey. And we probably want an orca in the slot in the, the second spot. Okay, this is going to be a big scaling squad, but they're not quite there just yet. It's a good unit for the peanut to hit. We're holding on. And would you look at that? I've now got a melon here. Don't do it. Mmm, it's not bad. Okay. Yes. Yes. So Mantis is going to probably hit 50-50 at this rate. You lived on one. Ah, they're doing Rat Strat. That's good. The Rat Strat works for me as well. <laughs> the Lone Monkey survives. Right, you eat the orca, the orca spits out another faint pet. It is give experience to the nearest friend behind. And plus two plus two, that's pretty good to be in that position. You're gonna think I'm crazy. I think we should consider getting rid of the otter. <laughs> I just don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, we're going to lose. I think we throw a melon on you. I'm just trying to scrape as many victories as I can right now. Before we inevitably fail. Okay, interesting build. Uh, <laughs> okay, seven wins. That's pretty good for a first time round. Okay, horse me, mouse me, roll me. I, I still respect the otter. I'm sorry. I, I imagine otter stonks have gone down recently, but for me, they're still pretty high. Uh, I think I'll freeze a honey as well for the future. I'll be a sour tank. It's me playing Overwatch 2. Ah, I'm slept, I'm CC'd, I'm stunned! Wow! It's like, yeah, it's kind of your job. You just go in and just eat every cooldown. That's kind of what you signed up for, buddy. No fun. By the way, this is coming from someone that plays tank. 
Who should take the honey? Probably the otter. I do like ants, but maybe not right now. Let's try to put you at the front as well. Okay, the 4-3 is going to trade into the 4-2. Mm, the trades haven't been particularly great, but it's good enough. Okay, do I want to keep the mouse? No. <laughs> All goes on the otter. I'll take a flamingo. I want to win this next round still. I think these sniper builds might actually be the winner's choice. I think they're going to dominate the mid game. I don't think I want to pill here. Interesting. Let me try something. God, what have they done to my poor dog? Uh, we'll take a goldfish for the long game. Uh, and I'm also not as scared to run a four squad. Friend her, give it plus one, plus one. Might be decent with you, but I think we're going to look for some snipers. Uh, the Hawk is better for the now. The Doberman is interesting because I'm probably going to pivot the entire squad. It's just whether or not I can afford to do that, and I don't think I can, so we will take the Hawk. And we'll just try and snipe a pet out. And actually, the Hawk is probably good enough to stay here long term, so let me give you a Cucumber. And you can just start buffing yourself. Horse is definitely going to go eventually. Great, maybe a double trade. All right, we're back in it. Nice choice with the eagle. Ah, <laughs> this is all being pretty junk so far. I guess. And I guess. Man, this was a stinky round of shopping. It is like an empty canvas, though, just to completely pivot next turn. Or even as the tier 6 shop comes out. And we're still winning, so... Falcon would be a fun thing to get to work, you know. I don't think I've ever had it work. Rhino is probably the most sensible play, though. Rhino is definitely the most sensible play. So this currently sells for five. I kind of want to keep this long term. 
Uh, okay, Bluebird. Sayonara. We are rhino lovers now. Waffle plus Otter is a combo, but it's not a great combo. Let's pie the rhino. Horse and Otter are definitely close to getting cut now. I'm just looking for a new scaler. Hey, can I have a penguin, please? <laughs> it go kind of crazy right about now. Admit to that rhino went kind of crazy just then. Thank you. I'm going to sell the horse so he doesn't get the buff. A cow. A panther. Okay. Cow me. <laughs> we scale. I think I can be justified selling the altar here. For another hawk. I'm probably not getting to tier 3 goldfish, but it's a funny goal. So I'll freeze that. Right, so the hawks weaken the units behind the rhino, and the rhino just goes crazy. Never mind, the rhino is dead. We're playing a lot of Super Ultra Pets tennis right now, but I think we're going to come out behind. A low co-host Millie. How are you doing? <laughs> now I feel really bad. Okay, another cow. And a penguin. Freeze it. And we'll discuss it. Okay. So that's going to sell for 9. It's going to sell for the 11 next turn. I think next turn we do the big pivot. We're probably going to be on 1 health. And I'll use the goldfish to finance that turn. Man, this rhino, when it works, it works. I still think we should consider to make the pivot turn. Although, two waffles and a cow. <laughs> Actually, I can't put both on. I can put one on and get two milks. Millie, you're walking dangerously close to my stop stream button. Okay. Okay. I'm so close to getting this to tier 3, but it's the wrong play. Alright, goodbye. I salute you, goldfish. Right. I think I will... Hmm. I do kind of want to pill a walrus, but maybe that is too much. We're looking for some Choc Choc and or a Hawk. Choc Choc or Hawk. Or a cow. I'll take a Hawk. I prefer the order to be what it is right now, so I'll take a Walrus here. And I'll freeze a pill. We'll pill it and hope it lands on you two. I could live with the hawk as well, though. Now we're looking for another penguin. Oh my god, this could go crazy. Oh, okay, he healed out of it. He's lucky. Millie, can you not sit on my preview monitor, please? You little menace. <laughs> did I win? I did win.
All right. Goodbye, cow. I should have sold you first. Never mind. Goodbye, penguin. All right, we're looking for tier one friends. Mouse, very good tier one friend. I'll take an apple. Probably shouldn't have sold that instantly, but you know what? I'll run a four squad. Yeah, I'll just run a four squad, I think. We're probably at the point now where I prefer you to run this anyway. I want the dragon at the back. All right, this is a big sniper build. Goodbye to your coconut. Oh my god, the rhino! It did so much work. He's crazy. Uh, are all my pets tier 4 or higher? They are! So I could get plus 4 plus 4 on one of these pets for 3. I could also just <laughs> buy a beetle, sell a beetle, buy you, sell you, buy you, throw you here. Oh, all my pets aren't the tier anymore. All right, sell you, buy you, and I'll put you at the back. <laughs> That's a big squad. Okay, I finally met my match. Hmm. Man, I just can't find any dragons or cows right now. Another dragon. Just freeze everything. I think I'm going to sell the cow next turn. And I'm just going to lean heavily on my front two units. I think we're good. We're not good. Oh man, a seven piece game again. <coughs> That's me. I thought that was going further, honestly, Millie. We just didn't ever get the cow or the dragon to pop. For my scaling. Alright, let's do one more. I think double bluebird is always a good start. I think the beetle is kind of ass. And triple bluebird? Why not? I've also got a lot of time for the author still. I know it's not quite what it used to be. What were the odds of that happening? Uh, but it's still pretty good. Okay, we'll be the flexible feet. You know, people that can, like, you know, tie cherries into a knot with their tongue? I do that with my toes. Just what I didn't want to see. A bunch of honey. Why do beetles counter bluebirds? Doesn't make sense! Okay, this is kind of a stinky shop as well. I'll, I'll take a mouse. And I will honey... Hmm... I'll hurry you. Okay, the mouse took a, a buff, but whatever. We're probably selling it next round. Uh, these trades don't look terrible. We're going to draw. But honestly, for my squad, a draw is a win. 
Because we have a lot more of a brighter future than some of these other decks, because we have scaling. Alright, I think this is a squad where I can justify that. Give me the golden apple. And I think I even do this, damn, to try and increase the chance of hitting the wasp. And the door head ant is pretty decent right now. I'll take it. I think I want more bluebirds though. Nice choice, bluebird. It's cracked. Well, that's gonna break the melon. I basically have put the squad in the perfect order to beat them. I can live with it. An Altair. I could tear up now or I could wait for the next round. I think I'll wait for the next round. On the Gary. She's actually just rice. Mm. Mm. Okay, just rolled all my money away. I was looking for some more bluebirds, but didn't find them. Again, this is a decent trade. Okay, that one wasn't quite as good. Hmm. Oh, what off? Okay, wasp. Buy it. I think we go for the penguin here. I really need one more wasp. If I can get my wasp to level 2 so the penguin starts buffing it, then we can do some things. Good squad. Uh, Doorhead Ant, your last job to get a level. Mantis and Falcon. It's not really the direction the Envisage is going, but I think you're better than an Otter, so I'll sell the Otter. The question is, do I want to keep the Bluebird? I was going to put another Bluebird in the squad. I think I will do this. And then I think I'll put a Cucumber on you. Not worth it. I was considering selling the doorhead ant. But I actually think I'm gonna need it. Oh my god, the bluebirds are crazy. Interesting, you're running a rat. Oh, so the hawk will get the rat and you'll get three threes. Ah, that's an interesting build. The talkative mammals. I like your style. So this will get to a 50 attack minion before the end of the game now. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. What I do need to worry about is that uh, he is not going to have 50 health. So we'll put a monkey in the squad as well. Is it... Did I just put... No, I combined the bluebirds. Is it time to sell the bluebirds? If it is, I should have sold them separately. I don't think it's time to sell them just yet. It's probably next on my radar, though.
I can't believe I'm going to draw this. I should put the monkey at the back. Oh my god, I'm going to tear it up. Never mind, you might have a future. Uh, <laughs> the future suddenly looked bleak. I could do a fun swordfish build, but... Keep the bluebird, sell the doorhead ant. I could also just sell the doorhead ant, put a monkey in, and gigabuff the, the wasp. Bluebird, I think you're going to live. You're going to go to 44 next turn. I'm going to try a swordfish. It's just fun. It's a pet I very, very rarely run. Uh, and we could stick some garlic on it. The penguin's still getting good value. It's buffing the two pets that have the most stats anyway. All right, that was a lot of stuff that just happened. We are going to lose, but... The door had may have made a difference there. But let's spend some of our health. Health is a resource at the end of the day. Right, you would like one of these. <laughs> let's start leveling it up. We don't want another B. Okay. I am approaching a point where I think if I get the other swordfish, I should just sell the bluebird. I know it's got a lot of stats, but we could do definitely better than it. And time is on our side. Give me a chocolate. Coward. Uh, all right, I'll just combine you like this then. I was trying to get a world where I turn this to tier two and then I'd have two penguins buffing it, but. What's my cat's name? Uh, the one in the picture is Millie. I've also got a, a cat called Betsy as well. Billy's also sat with me right now. She's my little co-host. Okay, so you're a 5018, which is fantastic news. Let's get a pancake going here. Ooh, a monkey. I'd really like another swordfish though. <laughs> I, I do appreciate the humor of that putting a tiger behind the swordfish to just trying to obliterate people we'll talk about it later uh apple or pie i think we'll take a pie we'll pie a penguin So this is now hitting for 16. Oh, and fellow wasp enjoyer. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We seem to be above the curve right now. Oh, a swordfish. So 200% damage. So the swordfish no longer lives. Am I okay with that? 
I mean, I guess I have to be. The swordfish now lives. <laughs> it's just really stupid, but it's funny if I sell the bluebird and go for a tiger. So you'll do 34 to the most health of the enemy, then it gives another 17. You know what? Let's live a little. I might live to regret this pretty quickly. But I do like the idea that this just one-shots a unit. Oh my god! It took out two units. Now, unfortunately, the rest of my build is a glass cannon, but... Uh, it's still pretty funny. You probably want a melon at this point. And I guess I'll put this on you, even if it's just one health. We're at seven wins. Let's do everything we can to keep winning the games. So he now does 56 damage to the most healthy unit. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so destructive. I don't have room for cows anymore. They're not all four or higher because the wasp is lower. More melons. I really just need another penguin, thank you. I really just need more tigers as well. And I could definitely justify a pancake. I could also definitely justify more swordfish. Okay, you're gonna get rolled by my swordfish. I actually didn't do as much as I was hoping there. Draw? How did you live? Whatever. Nothing lives anymore. Everything perishes. Scorched earth. He now does uh, 68, 102 damage to the most healthy enemy. Melon doesn't save you anymore. Uh, you know what? Let's do more. Ooh, a chop chop. And it's actually more than that because the tiger is also enabling it. Oh my god. This is a strong build. Keep going, Swordfish. I mean, the only thing I can do now that really improves my squad is get the Tiger to tear up as well. All right, we have three bites at this cherry at the very least of getting a, a 10 piece. Okay, the, the Rhino dies. Did you see the damage numbers then? I think it did 138 damage to the Rhino. Holy mackerel, or even holy swordfish. What a build. What a build. Anyway, YouTube, that's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like or subscribe? Everything helps me out, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.